morning, back in the bathrooms. Um, so what I've just done is cut this bit of plasterboard. Now it's not normal plasterboard, it's got polystyrene on the back. Um, they make it with different thickness of, uh, thicknesses of polystyrene um, to, to help with insulation. I've gone for actually the thinnest that I can get because I, I wanted something to help, but um, not to destroy the way that this is gonna work. Um, so the recess that we have here um, <clears throat> is currently completely uninsulated. Uh, we are going to tile it, but um, I thought we'll just put a bit of insulation in there and it will help the room. So um, apparently you stick it on just as I dotted and dabbed the plasterboards through there. Do the same thing with this. It's a small area, so I won't need a lot of mix. So it shouldn't take me too long. So I'll get that up. Um. I think that looks all right. That's um, gonna make a little bit of difference to the, the warmth in the room, but uh, yeah, another little job ticked off my list. Brico trips. I bought some ducting for the uh, ventilation, and I want to cut the holes in the plasterboard, fit the ducting through uh, to where the uh, the machine is going to sort of one central unit that you'd have several ducts going from for several rooms. So that is going upstairs and uh, well, I need to get the pipes from here to there. So I'm going to get that done and then I should be in a position to put stick the insulation up there. Then, see how time goes, I should be in a position to close off this end wall. Again, more insulation needed in there. Um, yeah. yeah, it's coming together. Just inserted that black thing <laughs> into the hole. And there is the cap to go on that, but I won't be putting that on until it has been decorated. But that will now allow me to attach the hose and get the hose from there, as I said before, along there and up there. It's brilliant, you said insert the hose in the same sentence. <laughs> faff to wedge that up here but now I've got this super thick insulation so that'll provide sound insulation as well as thermal insulation for the room. Um, got the ducting going above there um, which I need to get down the end there and then up to the attic space and then I can get some plasterboarding done. Woo -woo. <laughs>
making progress. Uh, I've put the vent, connected up the ventilation to that hole I put up there and started lining along this wall. Um, very shortly, that's going to come to a halt. In fact, it might have been now it's going to come to a halt um, because with the shower tray, I need to get that in before um, I want to put the facing on that side of the wall. Started to make progress on it. It's going to make it very dark in there, so uh, might need to get those lights connected up. Yeah. Making progress. <laughs> here for another day of the old uh, taping and going over it with the goo oh, you know when you just had lunch and you're really like full and you really kind of can't be bothered I'm having one of those days it's miserable outside it's near and you know and you can just like think I'll give up for the day but no no I'm not doing that I'm going to continue because his lordship wants me to finish the ceiling today in here. Let the taping and jointing commence. I've come to the end of day two of taping and whatever. And I can't remember the name of it. I keep forgetting um, this stuff. And yeah, today I've managed to focus more in this little ensuite room. Da, 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 da. So I've done the ceiling, I've done the walls. Da, 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 da. I also got some of it on my nose when I was looking up. Um, yeah, I'm winning. I'm not recording it again because it it's just boring. It's just so boring. Yeah. Anyway, another day done. Woohoo. Well, good morning. It is sopping wet outside. Um, today, I, uh, I'm just waiting actually for father-in-law to turn up. He's not very good at mornings, but uh, he's on his way apparently. Um, I've asked him if he'd like to come and join in with me with today's activity. And uh, as it involves mixing concrete, he couldn't say no. Hmm. So what are we doing? Well, today, these two shower trays are going to be fitted. So, obviously, the corner one is going to be over here, which is in the bathroom. And the rectangular one is going to be through there. I haven't fitted the rectangular one yet because um, the plasterboard here is actually going to go down onto, slightly over the rim of the shower tray. Uh, so, I need to get that down before I can continue building the wall. Um, and as we're making up concrete, might as well do this one at the same time. So in uh, preparation, I've just had a bit of a tidy around. I've put a bit of plasterboard. We can stand the shower tray on there before we then lower it down into position. As you know, everything in bathrooms is, is heavy. So having an extra pair of hands is very, actually very welcome. So uh, in advance of him being a helpful pair of hands, thank you very much, father-in-law. Of course, to make up concrete. Out it comes. So with the, the mix that we, was really mortar rather than concrete that we're mixing today, uh, with that mix, I'm gonna be adding some of this, which is fluidifant. <clears throat> Uh, so it can be a fairly dry mix, but retain the properties of a wet mix. So it, it should help it bed down the shower tray, make sure it's completely uh, supported from the underneath, but not be a completely wet mix at the same time. Um, so that's what we're going to add to the mix whenever he turns up. Still no sign of him. Week. And I've just noticed that Somebody seems to have messed with my menu plan for the week. On here, I normally have a bit of a shopping list going. Uh, I need some live yeast at some point. Monday, monkfish and trout. Tuesday, salmon poke bowl. 
Wednesday we were going to have chicken, but apparently it's been changed. I wonder who could have done that. Kids, there's somebody very special coming today. Nana! <coughs> One of the things I'm doing today is stuffed trout. So in a bowl, I have fresh dill, fresh parsley, fresh chives, um, the juice and the zest of a lemon. I've also got some salt and pepper, panko breadcrumbs, uh, some capers, and then I've kind of bound it together with butter. And I'm now gonna stuff my trout with this. So lovely fresh trout from the market yesterday all gutted, all washed, all ready to be stuffed and ready to go into the oven. Finally, they're here. There she is. Just sit down for the moment. Hang on, hang on, woo! Okay. Also known as Nana Treat Giver. <laughs> Good. I think they know. shower tray down, uh, level along each wall, level across the front and uh, well I think it's as bedded down as it's going to be and I'm not going to touch it from now on till it's dried. And uh, now over to this side of the room and we've got to do something very very similar but over here. Oh, get the wall boost no. Thank you very much. No, I haven't uh, done anything. I know. Well, I know. <laughs> but thanks for coming. That's well, I made that one quite a snug fit. I just had to pull the bit of metal framework out to allow the tray to go down properly. But it is level. It is in. It is level. Um, everything. Everything is looking okay. It is wet, so I'm not going to 
play around with it now. I'm going to let it go off. It's not, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. I just need that concrete to go off and then happy days. But yeah, we've got two shower trays in. Look, here's the one for the ensuite. Here's my assistant. He's done his day's work now. <laughs> and I'm there's the one the, in the bathroom. I'm waiting for the pub opening. All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just got to go and clean up all the machinery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, thank oh, you. No. Thank you. I reckon what? Another two weeks, you'll have one finished, won't you? I might do. Yeah, I think so. All right. Yeah. Not if we just stand around chatting all day. I oh, know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to see your family working. Oh, shushy. <laughs> well, I've left my assistant inside in the dry. I'm going to clean down the machinery. Don't you worry, it will get done. Well, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Chagnon and I'm back inside in the Maison de Maitre where the other day you saw me put, with the help of father-in-law, that shower tray and that shower tray down. So, um, well, I've just, in fact, I'm going to go and do it right now. Had a good walk all over them. No movement, no creaking, no rocking. So, uh, quite happy with how they turned out. This rectangular one was a bit trickier to get in. I've, I made it such a snug fit. But uh, anyway, it's in, which is now going to allow me to get the third bit of wall around it, a bit of plasterboard. I'll get that fitted today. Um, yeah, let's get on and do that then. <laughs> That went in fairly easily. Um, so I can now get the two holes drilled for the shower valve and get the pipes all fitted for that. human I've used the wrong drill bit cut those holes too big it's okay I can take this sheet of plasterboard off and throw it away and go and get another one happy days <laughs> There we go, that went up no problem. Alright, so I'm going to drill the holes for the shower now and as I tend to always do, I'm just going to measure the tool to make sure it's the right size. Mm. 
No. <laughs> it appears to be the right one here. <laughs> Working away. <laughs> you work you're working hard down there? Well, I was trying to read the instructions <laughs> to them, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a very quick rundown on how taping and jointing works. There is two types of tape. Um, first piece of tape is flat no no stickiness or anything to it it is just like masking tape but with I say no stickiness tape number two is this which again no stickiness it is a flat piece of tape with two strips of metal that you bend to go around a corner I'm not going to bend it now because I'll just knacker it um, anyway what you want to do you want to get some of this goop it's like it's like buttercream it's the same color as like a, a buttercream it's the same consistency as a buttercream taste it. you taste it anyway as I say no stickiness on the tape so first thing that you've got to do is you've got to take your butternut goop butternut you've got to take your, your buttercream goop and you've got to plaster it onto wherever you're sticking this tape. And then you, you clag the tape on and then you go over the top of it with a load more of the buttercream and you just hope for the best. It's, it's cac. Whoever, whoever invented this needs absolutely slapping. Like, right? cause you're trying to hide the tape, right? So that the tape obviously hides the joint, but where the tape's not sticky, and when you're spreading the goo over it, the goo goes underneath the tape. <sighs> Other instructional videos are available on YouTube, <laughs> which make it a little bit easier to understand how to work this product that is in use all across France and possibly all of Europe and most of the world. I'm sorry you're having difficulty. It's just, it, it's frustrating. <laughs> All right, if you if you want if you want me to, I'll come and repoint a wall. No problems with that. But this this is just a massive cack ass faff around. It really is. It is a cack ass faff, and that's not swearing. That's just getting slightly frustrated. So yeah, I'm now going to do this side. Also, when you're doing this, it helps if the person who's put the plasterboard on the walls actually puts the screws in a little bit. Like a little bit just, you know, behind the, the plasterboard. Because then you can actually fill it better than having to get even more frustrated by going round and just drilling all of the bloody screws into the wall to then put the button at goo on top of it. I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> and then after you've done all of this, you've then got to wait for it to dry, go over it again... Then once that's dried, then you've got to sand it all down. Now, yep, okay, we're in France. Yes, I know, I'm very well aware of that. But in England, you would just get somebody to come in and plaster the wall. It would be smooth. And then you could sleep at night rather than worrying about filling in all of these tiny little holes. Ah! Today I'm on day four of taping and jointing. Uh, I'm getting loads of the corners done. It's starting to feel a bit like Groundhog Day. I wake up 
I wear the same jumper because it's dirty and I just play with this chalky goo. Um, it's going well. It's such a, again, it's such a boring job. And at times it's just like really hard not to get disheartened with this, but it needs doing and I'm just so fed up of doing it now. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. After a few more hours, I've now finished for today because there's no more plaster that I can glue and stick and whatever. Um, eventually, I will need to come back and do this great big hole in the wall. When there is a wall. <laughs> the thing is, once I've put this sheet on here, it's a long way around. Yeah, but then you get your step count up. Right. Anyway, another day of this, done. I need to go away from it now, it's just <laughs> mind-numbing. <laughs> picture of a wild boar on it which Claire absolutely loves. I do like wild boar, they're, they're cute. <laughs> they're deadly but cute. Yes. <laughs> um, they're called Shasgarde. So, um, well, we'll tell you what it's like in a minute. And thank you to Trudy Hess who got this for us on Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, I like buy, buy me a wine. <laughs> you can actually change it, I think, to, to buy me a beer. I don't know whether there's a wine option. Okay. But... Well, there we go. Well, productive week. Yeah, shower trays are down. <laughs> Taping and jointing. Ah. Making progress. So, <laughs> Making progress. Uh, yeah, happy with how things are going. Yeah. So, uh, well, anyway, enough of, enough of that. Oh. oh, oh. That's rather nice, yeah. isn't it? If you have enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you've not subscribed already, please do so. It is free. Don't you can find us on <laughs> Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Or on our website at www.thexpatbutchers.com. Was it nice? <laughs> anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>